Oh, you guys have got to try this platform. Come on, can you imagine everybody just hanging out here? I love it. I love it. founder of Community Coach and today I want to talk about probably one of the most amazing virtual event platforms I've seen for a long time. I've just had so much fun with this and I wanted to share it with you guys. It's called Bramble and it is a, oh I'm just flying across the screen, it is a platform for community managers and anybody that is organizing an event to gather people in a very unique and fun way. First up, here's their website that you're looking at. I love their website. I mean, you can go check it out. It's bramble.live. They're just trying to combat the whole Zoom fatigue situation. And I think they're doing a really, really good job. So it's definitely worth checking out. First up, you have these really cool um, avatars that you can create and it just makes you know, the whole virtual gathering thing more fun. You have these avatars and you enter virtual worlds. And when your avatars meet each other, it's like Zoom where the videos do pop up. But the cool thing is it's interactive. So if you walk away from the group of people, just like you would in real life, you leave the conversation and it's it just feels less um, abrupt than if you were just to leave a Zoom call. You can actually still go and explore the world just like you would, I guess, if you're in a conference and you're like, okay, you know what? Like, great chatting to you guys, but I'm gonna go check out this session over here. Then you can just leave, right? Same with this world. And you can network, meet other people. Um, you can watch videos. You can present on stage and have everybody in the room listen to you. So there's just a lot of fun things with this platform. Um, so I do highly recommend checking it out. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is uh, walking you through what it takes to create a Bramble World. It's, it's actually pretty straightforward, but there are some things that you may want to note. And this description, it's like Zoom meets Animal Crossing, I think is very appropriate. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and create a Bramble world. Okay, I'm about to start creating my Bramble world. So first up, it gives me some options for the world settings. I've named my world Carmen's Cozy Campfire because it is my dream to host campfire sessions with musicians all around a campfire. And we're all just singing songs and having a good time and maybe having a bit of a hot chocolate with marshmallows in it. Anyway, um, enough about my <laughs> dream world. You can see that you can create customized URLs with a Bramble subscription. I'm just going to go through the free version and see what we can get using the free trial to begin with. Um, I love the fact that you can restrict access to email domains. I know that if you're hosting an event for a company, you may want to restrict access to just your company's um, domain. And you can also create a, a password if you need to. Now, the world layout, this is where it gets a little fun. I'm creating the campfire setting, but you've got a few options here. And you can also add a description for the world. And then after you're finished with your session, you can create an exit and redirect screen. So this is where when the screen exits, usually for people, I feel like it's quite abrupt and it's the end, but I like how they've thought through the exit experience by allowing you to redirect to a form or a survey. Um, and that's just a really great way to get some analytics on your event straight after you've finished versus sending an email where people, again, they just kind of forget about the experience or they get busy. So I've created this world. Let's save and enter the world and see what happens. Okay, so my world is apparently created now. It took a little while for it to load, I guess, behind the scenes. But you can see that I have now the title of my event, the description. This is, I guess, the name that will appear in the event. I have to 
select that I've read the terms of service and privacy policy it says headphones are strongly recommended. Uh, I have my headphones here, but I can't be bothered to <laughs> connect them in. So I'm just going to go on ahead and you can see that they have a few quick instructions that like the controls, the profile of your avatar. Um, and I'm loving, it looks like a crazy neon flamingo. That's what I <laughs> call it. But yeah, I, I like the fact that you can hopefully change your avatar. And you can see that you have groups here. So you can tap on somebody else's avatar to see their profile and add them to your group and groups move around the world together. So I guess if you've got a friendship group or if you've created and bonded with other people, then you can move around together. I think that's pretty cool and neat idea. So let's go ahead and enter this world. And of course, the generic, I have to allow my camera and mic, and I'm going to select the camera. Let's enter. Okay, it seems to be loading up still, so I will get back. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, here's my little avatar. Um, you can see that I can move my avatar around. Yay, my dream of sitting by the campfire is complete. Um, let's just check out this world and see. There's several campfires. There's a beer hall, I guess. Oh, I've entered the beer hall. I like how quickly it loads. Oh, I like how quickly when you move around, it's like it doesn't lag, but there is a little bit of waiting time in between welds. I guess this is my bar area. I would love to have some sound effects if I go closer to the fire. I'm not sure that that happens. Um, I guess you've got a stage here that I need to get up on. Let's try. Okay, that doesn't do anything. And it's loading up. Every time I move to a different world, it takes a little while. But, oh, this is really cute. This is like, okay, I can put a YouTube link in. Let's try that. I just want to shout out to Gabrielle Leith um, from Ramble, the platform itself, helped me work through this issue. So I go to click on the screen. You don't need to go into the customized world setting. You just uh, keep to this setting and you enter your YouTube link. Now, the reason why my link wasn't working was because I had used a shortened YouTube URL. You actually need to paste the full link. So the full URL with youtube.com and then the video. So once you've done that, you update the link and you're good to go. You just press watch the video when you're done and you can Hi, see my video I'm Carmen, the founder of Community. Let's stop me from talking. I love the concept, but I think we're so used to having things work really quickly and smoothly. I love when I move around the world, it's amazing and it works really well, but I would love to have the different worlds just run a little bit faster. But I mean, I'm just being picky and if it's really an awesome little experience, then yeah, we'd have fun. I think I've, I've explored most of the world now, so I'm not sure. Let's have a look at this. I like how there's stars, but I feel like the world is quite small. All right, I decided to load up a new world because Gabrielle from Bramble told me that the rooftop garden world is amazing and I love rooftops, so why not hang out in a rooftop? And I'm actually going to invite one of my friends to hang out with me. But before I do, I just wanted to check out the world myself and actually create it. In creating this new world, I noticed that it was a lot quicker than the first world, the campfire world that I created. So, you know, great work. I don't know whether that's because I uploaded a world before and Bramble sort of was working behind the scenes to set itself up. But this time it took less than 20 seconds for this world. I'd say even less, like 10 seconds for this world to be created. So that was an amazing experience. Okay, so I like how you've got the reception. I assume, okay, I cannot actually change the wording there. It'd be cool if I could, I guess I could, I could customize the world. Hang on a second. 
I can rename the room. That's cool. Comments, reception, area. Oh, you can embed music. That's really cool. I'm going to do that. That's like the waiting room experience. <laughs> you know me in waiting rooms. I'm like obsessed. Okay. I'm going to customize the space. Yes. Can I change the name? Huh. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to try and then I'm going to get back to you so that you don't have to watch me try to figure this out. Be right back. Okay, this is the new world. So I have updated. Can you hear music? This is my waiting room music. It's very cool. As soon as I enter the room, the music automatically starts playing. I can set the volume and I can choose the music. You just go to YouTube and choose some music. You probably need to make sure that it's copyright free if this is a public event. You can also update your um, logo and I would love to be honest to be able to move this um, logo anywhere in the room and kind of makes more sense to me that it's the logo is actually on the whiteboard itself but you know maybe that's future iterations. I would also love to be able to change the name of reception to like I don't know just customize everything right like the little banners etc that would be cool even just to be able to, to add some books like if you've got your own book um, that you want to promote at your event, et cetera. It'd be cool to be able to, to add an image here, but maybe that's just me. All right, so let's go up to the rooftop. There is a theater. I didn't really customize that room, but I like how you can create this sort of waiting reception experience. Now let's go up to the rooftop. I also think it's really helpful that you can see how quickly a weld loads for a participant. So this is real time. Um, you can see that didn't really take too long at all. And what I like is that we're not having any lag. So I removed a tree here. I don't know. I was just like playing around, but you can see I actually added a band. <laughs> this is my little addition. I added this PNG with transparent background. It's cool that I can also create some music here. So again, different background music to the other room. I can set the volume again. Um, if you enter these like spaces, these private areas, only people inside the private area will be able to see you and hear you. And if I walk further away from the music, you can tell that the music has gone quiet. So that's a really nice feature. I've also updated this area where if I click on this link, I can now watch Hi. my own video of myself if I'm really that inclined. But I think this is kind of cool. Like you could all sit on the grass um, and you've got this little spotlight session so everyone can hear you and, yeah, you're on the stage. I love that. I think that's just a really neat addition. And what I also love is that this world is actually way more fun to explore personally than the campfire to me. Um, it's just really fun to be able to walk around to the different parts of the rooftops, enter some more like areas to hang. You know, I think for a large event, this could be really cool um, to see everybody hanging out as well. Again, another private area. And then there's this cool space that's super private. I haven't really edited any of this myself personally, but I just, I feel like you don't really need to edit too much. You know, um, I think in terms of the customizing the world, you could definitely have more options as a community manager. A cool aspect about the chat is you can actually create global announcements, which go across all of the rooms. And you can see that it comes up here um, to, I guess, as an announcement to everybody. Um, and you could say things like, hey, meet me at the rooftop in five minutes. All right, Nick is here. Yay, how exciting is hey, this? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's so cool. What? what? Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? What, did it take forever for you to load? What? Hi guys. Um, so I'm just going to talk over this because the mic echo was pretty bad, but it was actually really, really fun. And it was great to see my friend Nick's reaction when we were interacting in the world. And you can see real life how this works. So you can see that when our avatars move closer to each other, um, the video gets 
um, less transparent and we're able to talk. When he moves away from me, he stops hearing me. So we no longer can hear each other. And then as he gets closer, you can hear again. So he's actually checking out that there's a website that I've embedded in uh, the reception area. So where my logo was, uh, you can view the actual website right there. And how cool is that? You could add your community website um, or anything else that's relevant. But this is us just going through the reception area. And now I'm taking him to the rooftop, which is really fun. Here are the different worlds, Trippy, Campfire, Winter Lodge, Headquarters and Rooftop. I'm going to try Trippy just to check this one out. Okay, this is the, oh my God, check out my new avatar. <laughs> okay, I stuffed up my camera. I used the wrong camera. I have two cameras, but that's okay. I look like a Twitch streamer and I'm okay with that. Um, I should put my headphones on and then now I look more legit. Okay, I worked out that you can change your avatar and I mean, who doesn't want to be a flamingo? Done. I mean, I really, really had to share this because now that I'm, I have this world loaded, this is the coolest world. <laughs> like I can totally imagine hosting parties here um, in this virtual world. How cool does this look? Oh my God. Okay, so you have a viewing space, which again, you have different rooms. So that's super cool. This is really fun. Okay, so I can again upload video. Cool. Performance space. I have to see this. I have to see this. But guys, the fact that I am like super excited, can you imagine your members in the community just feeling super excited about this? Like, this is so fun. It's like Coachella or something, but virtual. <laughs> I love it. I need to get on the stage ASAP. There we go. And now I am on stage. And the cool thing about this is that if I'm standing on the spotlight, then everyone in the room can see me, hi, and hear me. And that's the equivalent of me getting on stage and taking the mic, right? Like, I guess like people can still have their own conversations in the crowd and the audience, but yeah, this is cool. I like it. I like it. I'm psyched about this one. I feel like I could stay in this room forever and just invite all my friends, all the communities that I manage, like come hang out here. I'm going to play some music. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I feel like I can stay 